Aquarius. <laughs> this is all about you. Holy moly. If you have, listen, your energy has been blowing other people up. But that's what your energy is supposed to do. That's what your energy, you're supposed to be, and Aquarian energy is that mind broadening, mind expanding, blow your brain, change your perspective, like completely like different way of seeing things type of energy. And it's been making a few people uncomfortable and making other people feel very hopeful and happy. But the bottom line is it is changing everybody. And I'm going to, I'm just waiting to see when Jupiter enters Aquarius next year, I'm waiting to see how things change and how the quality of, of humanity changes or, or the qualities that we really value in other people, how that changes. Cause there's even a conflict within you guys as into, cause you like material things, all fixed signs love material things, but there's that other side of you, your sole purpose is to basically see beyond the material world and get everybody else to see beyond it too. So there's conflict as well. I'm just saying this new moon energy is intense Aquarius and you are basically, um, geez, <laughs> really doing a job on everybody. Holy moly Aquarius. So let's see what's going on with you guys. This is your weekly Oracle and tarot card reading from born without all over the place, all over the place. Your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. The full oracle card spread happens here. And then we do a full dynamic extended tarot card spread. That's in the link below if you choose to, uh, um, if you choose to access it. Um, magic works through you. I am so not surprised that, that card came up as your crowning energy. This was staring me in the face. There's an inter interesting trail here. I feel like there's some past stuff that we have to look into today. Um, Aquarius, this is for sun, moon, rising sign. Um, or wherever Aquarius energy influences your chart. Take a look at your natal chart and see where Aquarius energy influences your chart. Because for the next seven days, you can apply these messages to that space in your life. Um, if it don't fit, don't squeeze it. Lots of energy coming out already. I just want to shuffle one more time to see what comes out. But it's scattered. It's like the cards are going all over the place. I think you're making people work together. I think you're making people hear the sound of each other's voices, especially the sound of like their higher purpose. That's what I think you're, what, what you're doing is you're finding ways to pe get people to hear each other, to expand their minds. This is you responding to the call of spirit. Magic works through you and co-create with spirit and it's time to collaborate. All these three cards are showing me that the bottom line is this is your sole purpose. The person you're collaborating with is spirit. It's like you, you're in tuned with your divine purpose. And then there's some sort of divine intervention happening to you this week that has something to do with your past. And it's really interesting. Miracles and blessings and lay a solid foundation. Maybe a few years ago, you got an opportunity, something that really struck gold, an opportunity in your life that you have continued to work on. It's something that you did. It wasn't just like a lotto win. It's something that you built, but it worked out extremely well for you. It's like you, a door broke open for you, got an opportunity of a lifetime. So the story begins, Aquarius. Now we're here today. There is always enough. Um, in other words, I feel like your philosophy somehow through this work you're doing has been to say there's enough room for all of us. There's enough bounty for all of us. Don't let anybody tell you that we have to hoard specific resources because we don't. It's almost like your sole purpose now has been to help other people out and to get them into the vibe of things. A rebirth is assured. Um, I feel like you're going into the high, a higher level somehow, a higher level of either what you do or a higher level of spirituality and life. There is an energy about through, the, th maybe through helping other people, there is a sense of you, parts of you that's opening up or, or becoming something new, becoming something that it wasn't. But there is a, a meta, I don't know if it's metaphysical or metaphorical, but there is a change that is happening to you over the next seven days as you as we enter Aquarius season and as we experience this Aquarius 
new moon aquarius expect huge cha huge changes in your soul space in your spirituality in other words huge awakening something that is coming out of the dark coming out of nowhere um this is you refusing to compromise or you deciding to not be stuck in the middle it's you digging underneath things to get people to see the truth of each other's situations it's almost like it's not almost like it is like you are the truth bearer are you stuck between some sort of family conflict or conflict at work? Are you? Do you feel like you're stuck between um, two parties? Or it's not even necessarily in your life. It's almost like you're speaking to something that's outside of you, that's bigger than you, but something that you, like, like um, it, I don't know if you're going to protest, if you're going to political rallies, if you're working with um, some sort of organization to, a charitable organization to help people out. This isn't necessarily, I don't think it's happening actually in your life. It's almost like you're taking those things that you learned how to do, that you've been very successful at, since the past over i would say over a few years and you're applying it to help other people to dig up truths to break through walls to stop the to shake up the status quo that's what i think that's it's happening over the next seven days this is where your mind is at it's not just about on your because you're doing well this this the foundation that you have laid this energy of six this is you love doing what you're doing Two energies of six coming. Miracles and blessings. I, I don't know. Usually six is uh, an energy of love, but I feel like this is more en loving what you do and loving how you work. It could very well be an implication that there is some sort of foundation that happened a long time ago. Could be with a Taurus, could be with a Virgo, could be with a Pisces. Some sort of foundation that you have, some sort of love that you've built over many years with one of those three signs. And... It's almost like something is changing. Something is changing in that dyna dynamic. It's like, hold on, hold on. There's a little bit of, I think in your personal life, holding on, not really wanting to let go, being melancholy, being heavy hearted, seeing the future, knowing the future, but not wanting to let the past die. Um, these energies came out upside down. Um, basically, whatever you're devoting yourself to, you are giving it your all. There are no boundaries. There are no borders. You're basically being self-sacrificial or people are now starting to give back to you. You're starting to, it's almost like, I, I, I don't know, it's this energy of think on your feet, but it's, it's turned upside down. Hold on, hold on. It doesn't surprise me that it, that I'm a little bit confused. Because these are very subjective, subjective, sub, sub, subjective and even like philosophical ideas. Nothing is set in stone. This isn't about setting things in stone. It's about speaking into the wind so that it reaches many people. It's about inspiring people. Think about Martin Luther King Jr. Day. I said it on my daily today. Martin Luther King Jr. Day celebrates Martin Luther King Jr. And what was one of his most um, almost superpowers was speaking, talking the way that he could inspire people through speech to think about other people and think about to rally people to, to risk personal harm to themselves, to stand up for a higher cause and a higher purpose. And of course he wasn't a hypocrite, right? He was the one in the front of the line risking everything as well. I mean, it, it's, it, this isn't, this isn't, an, this isn't accidental. In other words, Whatever truth that you speak in this time, it has to be your real sincere truth. It can't just be a bunch of BS. Um, but hold on, hold on. More cards have come out. Now is a lucky time. Dream the world into being. Um, it's almost like you feel like time is moving too fast and things are speeding up. And the only way that you're going to survive it is just to surrender to it. But it's like you feel like you've put your all into something You've given your all into something and now it's like you feel a little bit empty, a little bit drained, like you've given too much of yourself or, or, and I think, oh, oh, shoot, spotlight is on you, Aquarius. This is the truth is coming out and you've already seen the truth for a long time. So in other words, it's you putting the spotlight on a truth that you've seen for a very, very long time. 
Oh, and, and now it's like it's finally coming out and everybody else is finally seeing it. Is it everybody else is finally seeing what you've seen for years? I've gotten this energy for you. This is your grounding energy. Is now the spotlight is on you. Spotlight is on you as the truth teller, as, as you as the truth bearer. People are now listening to what you have to say to what you've recognized and you see in the dark, you see these opportunities, creation, you see what's been happening. You see, you have seen something that may have been subverted happening for a while now and maybe you talked about it but it was ignored. Um, this is some major whistleblowing energy, but it's, I think it's beyond that. It's about, it's about acceptance. It's about acceptance. Acceptance of a truth that may have been a little bit hard for you to accept on your on on the social plane. No, this is you speaking truth, like demonstrating to people uh, the I ideals and an ideal thought process, or demonstrating like something that you have been trying to spotlight for a long time. Now finally being in the spotlight, but on your personal in your own household, right? Of space that you don't share with many people, right? You like to keep your private shit private, okay? I think that you basically made the decision to go gung-ho on something. Put your whole self in, take a huge risk. Um, risk everything, something that you really care about, could have to do with your children um, every, it has to do with everything that you worked for, every blessing and every miracle. It could be your, a huge investment. It could be you deciding to put your own money down on um, uh, a house or um, a, a future investment or something. It's like everything that you worked for is now almost in some way being scrutinized or being put uh, on the chopping block. But you, it's almost like you're volunteering to put it on the chopping block because... You don't have any fear. You you don't have any fear. You are absolutely fearless this week. Oh, it's hard to explain. Um, it's like somebody's finally seeing you. The peacock energy is scorpionic energy and it's looking directly at you. So it's either representing something from your past, looking directly at you or reaching out to call you and talk to you. This could be just in your own personal life. Um, something that you basically don't want to talk about, you want to keep hidden. It's basically none of anybody's business but your own. But it's almost like you've seen it coming for a for, from a mile away. You've seen it coming for a while. But this is an energy, it could very well be of being spoken to like, by a loved one, like like a, a, the spirit of a loved one also calling out and speaking to you this week and reminding you of a truth and really feeling connected to who they are. And it's almost like their voice, you know, their voice, their voice, their spirit voice is working through you. You are now their conduit and their rep rep representative in the 3D world to build something and create something that maybe it was their dream to create. Um... Hold on, I wanna share the, the full spread with you, hold on. Okay, okay, this is definitely spirit working through you, getting people to work together, or basically um, calling in somebody to be collaborative, collaborating, you thinking about, or divine intervention. This is your crowning energy. D div like It's almost like you're being the divine intervention to get somebody or people to work together. This has been you basically putting everything that you are on the line. Um, um, you basically coming out of the dark and co maybe coming out of a sense of neutrality and taking a stand on something or uh, demonstrating something in some ways, some sort of, um, like I said, taking a stand on something. And then... Um, Deciding basically to put your whole self in, put everything that you are on the line. It could be, you know, remortgaging your house or everything that you've built and everything you worked for, sort of making, using it as collateral for this next step, this next project, or this next step in your life, basically you taking a big risk, but you want the risk because you're about to undergo an exceptional transformation, something that is above just you know, you got the spiritual, you got the material gains, you got it. 
you you secured it and you proved that to yourself that you were capable and now this is about doing something more something more important than just the material gains um and this this is uh, definitely it's almost like receiving voices from beyond or hearing voices from beyond or or connecting to your spirit connecting to ancestors that's what's grounding you that's what's giving you purpose it's almost like uh, it's almost like you your your light in the dark has been uh, an understanding of uh, it has been how other people treated you has been the lesson that you learned from people that have loved you and how they've treated you and what's been given to you in the past so that is your grounding energy it's almost like I don't need all this material stuff because I know what's really important to me and it's that connection that I feel so strongly that's your ground that's what's grounding you that's what's giving you courage and the ability to take these risks and move forward it's almost driving you and basically it also could be helping you with the overall vision you're going gung-ho all the way in and I have to say things are looking good you are flanked by abundance you are flanked by miracles or blessings and now in your future right it's almost like you're multiplying those miracles and blessings this is also pregnancy card and fertility maybe you thought that you couldn't have babies or you weren't going to have children but this is definitely something almost coming out of the blue and an opportunity to replicate if not yourself then definitely your abundance somehow but like I said I feel like this is more of a spiritual replication of of aiming higher than just the material world uh, because that's what you guys that's that's what that's what your divine purpose is that's what Uranus is um let's go over to the other side and see um, more details in terms of what's going to be coming in your future as well as your romance reading Aquarius I'll see you over there